In the last video, we wrote ADBC program in ECC 7.4 system. We used all the new syntaxes and it was a little different from the old ECC 7.3 or below system. In this section, we will write the same ADBC program in S4 HANA. And do you think there will be any difference between the ADBC program written in 7.4 and in S4 HANA system? The answer is no. The ADBC program written in ABAP 7.4 system and the ADBC program written in S4 HANA system remains the same, even though the database is different. You might need to change some of the queries statements here and there, but the overall programming um, logic and the overall programming syntaxes remain the same. Let me show you. Uh, the same ADVC program in S4 HANA system. To save some time, I have copied the same program from 7.4 to this S4 HANA system. And don't worry, I will debug all the three. The one which we ran in ECC, which was in version lower than 7.4, then we'll debug um, 7.4 and then we will debug S4 HANA. And I will show you the differences in the debug mode. For now, you just understand that the program for 7.4 and for S4 HANA is the same. Let me show you the software components of all the three systems where we wrote our program. One is ECC 6, which is less than 7.4. Another is ECC 6 with 7.4. And another is S4 HANA. This is the first system where the database is Oracle, we can see here, and it is in component uh, has released 7.3. Okay, now let's go to 7.4. Let's see. Okay, no, this is not the one. This one. So if you see here, here the database is Oracle, but the component is 7.4. And finally, let me show you the S4 HANA system. So this is the same program, ADBC program, it is in 7.5 and how do you know it's S4 HANA? This is S4 core. So whenever you have this uh, component S4 core, that means you are in S4 HANA. In one of the videos, I told you that if we do not pass the um, database name for which you want to do the connection in the ADBC program, then it will take the default database uh, as the connection. So what we'll do for the ECC uh, six system we will do a sidecar another database connection so that is our uh, that is linked to our uh, ECC 6 system and then for ECC 7.4 and S4 HANA we will try to use the default so that I in debug I will show you that for the ECC 6 which has 7.3 it is con showing the connection to a different um, database while for ECC 7.4 it is showing to the Oracle database, its own Oracle database, and for the uh, S4 HANA, it will be showing the HANA database. Let's, let's debug and check the three programs together. I am executing my ECC6. We'll connect to uh, another database I am executing is. Now I am in this statement. This is not initialized yet. Now I do F6. It got initialized. And let us check the database. Check. The connection name is TCSP2925, uh, 2N. So the one, the database name, connection name, which we gave in the selection screen, that's the connection name. And what is the DBMS? The, it is Oracle. Okay, just remember. So the connection name is this one, what we entered in the selection screen. Next, we will go to the ECC 7.4 system and we will not give any connection name. Alright, let's check that. This is the ECC 7.4 system and I have removed this connection name from here. Okay, uh, I will not pass anything in the in the selection screen. So let me debug it. I come here, I will not pass anything and I am not using that parameter as well. So I am here in connection, it is not initialized. I do F6, now it gets initialized. Let us check the connection name and the DB database. So if you see here the connection name, the connection name is R3. You can see here the connection name is R3 and the DBMS is 
Oracle. So which is taking the default connection name. The default connection name is the connection or database of the application servers. The application server is mounted on a database and that is R3 and this is the connection name and the database is Oracle. So next we'll see the S4 HANA system, how it looks like, what the connection name is and what is the DBMS for that connection. Okay. For this also in my S4 HANA system, I have removed the connection name. So I will not pass any any parameter in the selection screen for the DB connect. Let's see how it looks. So I am not passing anything. I'm doing F8. It will stop with the breakpoint. The R connection is initialized. Now I do F6 and now we have some value. Let us check what is the default connection name and the database for the S4 HANA system. So I double click here. Okay. So it is too small because I am in my laptop. Uh, I do not have a larger monitor. So I'll just scroll down. I'll do paste down. So if you see connection name is R3 even for S4 HANA system. But the DBMS it is HDB. That means it is in a HANA database. The whole point which I am trying to prove in this video is that ADBC can be done even in non-HANA based system. It can be done in non-S4 uh, system. It can be done in non-7.4 system. So we were able to do that in ECC 7.3 and we were also able to use ADBC programming in 7.4 and in, uh, also in S4 HANA. And I can tell you uh, I have been writing SQL the native SQL to connect to a different database way back as long as 2006 or 2008 where we used to write ex e execute and end execute in between that code whatever we wrote between execute SQL and end execute those were actually native SQL statement which was nothing but we were connecting to the database through some uh, syntaxes today with ADBC they have been mod they have been put into some classes and those apis are being helpful now but the adbc concept has been and have been used long before hana came into existence i am sure most of you will not have a second database to play around for this adbc therefore what i will do in the next video i will write a program in s4 hana or 7.4 uh, or ecc wherever so I'll write one program and we will use the tables which is available in the SAP system. So I'll, I'll use Mara and Marcy, but we'll use the ADBC technique. So we'll use the ADBC technique to retrieve the data from your own uh, database, not going to the external database from your own database so that you can practice your ADBC programming in your own system. Even if you do not have a secondary database, which is uh, on top of your in your system. All right. So don't be disappointed if you do not have a, another database. We will practice ADBC in your own SAP system. Only thing is that we will not connect to any other system. It will be by default to your SAP system. But we will use the classes. Uh, we will use the queries. We will use the table parameters. And then we will also display an output. So let's go to the next video.